Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for October 22nd through November 5th. For October 22nd to the 26th, we're forecasting a ridge over the North Atlantic. Oops. North Atlantic into the east and across Alaska into the west. An upper low is forecast over Hudson Bay. You can see right here with the trough extending southwestward into the west and the northern U.S. This is what we're forecasting the pattern look like. Now, um, during this period, we will have a system here moving, whoops, moving out of the west, and this will produce precipitation from the northern Rockies into the upper Mississippi Valley and Great Lakes through the end of the week and we will have some snow across the northern Rockies into the northern plains. See right there and pro into the Great Lakes. Now, um, the Northwest will receive more uh, needed rainfall late in the week as the Pacific system reaches the coast. We'll back up a little bit. that will reach the coast during that time and and um, snow will be possible across the northern Rockies rain will be likely on the trailing front and then that'll extend into the southeast and then Canadian air will cause below normal temperatures across the northern Rockies and the plains parts of the northern Rockies will experience anomalies of 25 to 35 degrees below normal Temperatures are forecast to be 5 to 20 degrees below normal across portions of, of the northwest and the northern rock and the northern Great Basin. And then also take a look here across the Gulf Coast and Florida. Uh, moisture could be locally heavy, resulting in local heavy rainfall across Florida. And the rain may lift northward into the southeast and interact with this front here. And then um, also uh, rainfall could be enhanced by whatever develops here in the Caribbean. Possible tropical system might be forming there later in the week. We have to take a look at that. Okay. And now we're going to look at the period for October 27th to the 31st. And the eastern ridge is forecast to build inland. You can see right here. As the trough slides eastward more like into the Mississippi Valley. And a ridge remain over the North Atlantic and to the east. And the miles of good agreement with that. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperature for parts of California. And the southeast and the mid-Atlantic. And I'm forecasting anomalies of 6 to 12 degrees will be possible. And below normal precipitation is forecast here with anomalies of 6 to 12 degrees below normal, above normal here, and that'll be about 4 to 6 degrees above normal. For precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation from the plains to the Pacific coast, probability of occurrence is 35 to 45%, and above normal precipitation is forecast. East of the Mississippi River, probability of occurrence is near 40%. Now we're going to look at the period um, for November 1st to the 5th. And during this time, like the models have been flip-flopping all along um, last week. So um, the trough slides into the east during this period. And we'll have a ridge in the west. And this is depicted well by most of the models. But the GFS, if you look here, has more like uh, a flatter flow with near to above normal heights across the nation. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures west of the divide. And I'm forecasting numbers of 6 to 12 degrees above normal. Below normal temperatures are forecast for the remainder of the nation with anomalies of 6 to 12 degrees below normal. For precipitation, 
calling for below normal precipitation for the northwest probability of occurrence 35 percent and then we have above normal precipitation for the southeast the northern mid-atlantic and the northeast and the probability of occurrence is 35 percent that's the long range weather forecast discussion for october 22nd through november 5th thanks for coming jim Mullins world of weather and have a good day